Blue Origin, a rocket company founded around the same time as SpaceX had ambitious plans for their new Glenn rocket to compete alongside SpaceX's Starship with the shared goal of revolutionizing space exploration. However, despite over a decade of research and manufacturing efforts, what we have primarily seen from Blue Origin's new Glenn is animations and renderings, rather than tangible progress. So where exactly is new Glenn at in terms of progress? Will it fly this decade? And at this rate, is there any chance for Blue Origin to catch up to SpaceX? Find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Much like SpaceX's next generation Starship rocket, Blue Origin began to work on its semi-reusable new Glenn rocket in the early 2010s. Jeff Bezos publicly revealed new Glenn just a few weeks before CEO Elon Musk's long-planned September of 2016 reveal of SpaceX's next rocket, then known as as the Interplanetary Transport System. Both were massive, meant to be powered by huge new methane-slash-oxygen-fueled engines, and designed from the ground up with some degree of reusability in mind. But with fairly different designs and wildly different development philosophies, the paths of Blue Origin and SpaceX have only gotten further apart over the last seven years. While SpaceX continuously iterated and experimented with its rocket design, they ultimately settled on a stainless steel variant called called Starship in late 2018. They swiftly proceeded to construct steel prototypes, and within a year, seven Starship prototypes underwent test flights from August of 2020 to May of 2021. Delays in space exploration campaigns are common, but SpaceX consistently re-evaluated and quickly made modifications. The inaugural orbital launches of the S-24 and B-7 prototypes have experienced persistent delays for several years, lagging approximately 20 months behind the initial schedule schedule outlined by Musk in 2016, despite significant differences in rocket design. Similarly, Blue Origin has faced delays with its new Glenn rocket, which was also expected to debut as early as 2020. However, SpaceX can attribute the delays to the considerable design instability of the Starship before 2019, providing a reasonably justifiable explanation. In contrast, the general characteristics of the new Glenn's design have remained virtually unchanged despite its extensive delays. Compared to the Starship, the new Glenn is smaller, measuring 7 meters in width and approximately 98 meters in height, while the Starship has a width of 9 meters and a height of around 119 meters. The new Glenn will utilize traditional aluminum alloys for most of its structures, be propelled by 7 BE-4 engines, land using deployable legs, feature an expendable upper stage powered by 2 BE-3U engines, and have a large composite payload fairing atop the rocket. Blue Origin canceled plans for a smaller interim fairing, abandoned plans to land the booster on a moving ship, and tweaked the booster's landing legs and a few other attributes. But other than that, New Glenn is otherwise visibly unchanged from its 2016 reveal. Ultimately, that makes it even stranger that Blue Origin has done practically zero integrated testing of any major New Glenn components. Only in 2022 did the company finally complete and test a New Glenn Glenn payload fairing. Blue may have also built and tested a partial booster inner stage, which the new Glenn upper stage will attach and deploy from. Blue Origin's first test tank is a rare part announced by Blue Origin that allows the company to verify the performance of new Glenn's aluminum tank barrel sections and domes. Nonetheless, Blue Origin has not provided specific details about its plans for the first new Glenn test tank, nor has it explained why it has taken the company so long to complete this crucial component. But now let's shift our focus to the main engine of New Glenn. The BE-4 engine has an impressive thrust capability of 250 tons, slightly higher than SpaceX's Raptor 2 engine, which provides 230 tons of thrust. Blue Origin has been fortunate to secure an agreement with United Launch Alliance, or the ULA, to use the BE-4 engine for the core stage of their Vulcan rocket, which is a more mature design compared to New Glenn. BE-4 had a stroke of luck during a recent test conducted by United Launch Alliance where the engine performed flawlessly during the Vulcan rocket's first fire readiness process. However, the launch of Vulcan has faced an unexpected delay due to a flaw in the design of the Centaur upper stage. This delay has also impacted the flight testing of the BE-4 engine as the upper stage needs to be reconstructed and retested before further launch attempts can take place. With the BE-4 engine being a critical component of New Glenn, this delay adds 
response to the uncertainty surrounding the rocket's progress and readiness. Blue Origin's plans for New Glenn may depend on the successful flight testing of the BE-4 engine in the ULA Vulcan rocket. Since then, it appears to have been a period of silence and turbulence for Blue Origin's New Glenn. It's also uncertain whether the recent news has provided them with a more certain direction at this point, but these are their latest improvements. Blue Origin recently resumed fairing drop tests, which were initially halted in January. Temporary Flight Restrictions, or TFRs, and Marine Safety Information Bulletins, otherwise known as MSIBs, were issued to confirm these tests taking place near the Cape from June 27th to the 30th. During these tests, a helicopter was used to drop one half of the New Glenn payload fairing, which was then retrieved from the ocean. These tests represent the initial phase of preparing the fairing for recovery in upcoming New Glenn missions similar to SpaceX's approach to recovering their payload fairings. Of course, the most significant testing project at Blue Origin's Cape facility is the Phase 2 Reusable Development Program, also known as Project Jarvis. The Jarvis test tanks have been constructed and tested in the adjacent tent area near SLC-36. While specific technical details regarding this project remain undisclosed, it signifies Blue Origin's dedication to advancing reusability technologies and reducing the cost of space access quite like SpaceX. Furthermore, there is relevant information regarding the first stage reuse method and landing platform for New Glenn. The reports emerged that Blue Origin had contracted the same company as SpaceX to develop large autonomous drone ships for booster recovery, LAD Services Company. Prior to this, Blue Origin had plans for the first stage boosters of New Glenn to be recovering downrange on the Atlantic Ocean using a hydrodynamically stabilized ship called Jacqueline. This floating and movable landing platform aimed to increase the chances of successful recovery, particularly in rough seas. However, with these recent changes, it appears that Blue Origin is moving towards operations that closely resemble Falcon 9. So why has Blue Origin experienced delays while developing New Glenn, especially considering it was developed around the same time as Starship? This has been evident from the very beginning of their development strategy. While SpaceX has embraced a move fast and break things methodology, Blue Origin has adopted a more measured and deliberate path to progress. However, critics argue that Blue Origin has struggled to fully realize its development goals. The company has yet to achieve significant success with its new Shepard rocket, with only a few crude launches and a catastrophic failure. Since then, progress on the new Shepard has been limited. This lack of successful launches has raised concerns about Blue Origin's ability to execute its ambitious plans. Moreover, Blue Origin's ambitions have expanded rapidly, aiming to build a space station, land on the moon, and compete at the forefront of the space race, such as Blue Origin's Orbital Reef Space Station Project and Blue Moon Landing Spacecraft with NASA. This shift from a step-by-step -step approach to leaping ahead without reaching orbit has drawn criticism. It is seen as a deviation from the initial strategy, potentially stretching resources and capabilities too thin. In comparison to SpaceX's transparent and iterative development of Starship, Blue Origin's progress has appeared slower and less visible. SpaceX has undergone multiple design revisions, conducted flight testing of prototypes like Starship's first ever iteration, Starhopper, and achieved significant milestones in a relatively short time span. This contrast has further fueled the criticism directed toward Blue Origin. Given the current slower pace of progress, I remain uncertain whether New Glenn will meet its target targeted launch date in 2024. However, it will undoubtedly be an intriguing development as two colossal rockets engage in a race to conquer the cosmos. Well folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about what is happening with Blue Origin's new Glenn and its future projects. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.